Hey YouTube, so I thought I'd share with you, because I couldn't find any videos on it, what an egg-bound chicken actually looks like. Uh, if you notice how it's looking kind of like a penguin with its tail down, and it, you'll see it walk, and it kind of, you know, just wobbles. Uh, I guess this is the indication that you do have an egg-bound chicken. Um, I'm not going to share with you how to uh, relieve this. Uh, I'm going to be using the water, warm water in a bucket method and uh, keeping the, uh, you know, the vent pipe underwater for 20 minutes. Um, and I guess you're supposed to repeat that, I think, every hour. Um, I'm going to give that a go and hopefully, you know, she'll break from it. Um, but here, I'll see if I can get her to move a little bit so you guys can take a look at it. And this chicken would never let me touch it before. It just totally changed personalities. I can grab it, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, she's she must be hurting. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get on it now and uh, hopefully relieve this. Uh, I'll have to probably let you guys know later. All right, thank you. Hey YouTube, so I figured I'd give you an update. Uh, I've got the chicken in the. In just a tub, you know, like a, a you know, a Rubbermaid container filled with some warm water. You know, I was kind of splashing it up by her vent a little, uh, so it kind of tainted the water a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just letting her sit. I mean, she was just sitting there floating real good for a while, but uh, must have had enough of that. So now I kind of do got to hold her a little bit uh, just to keep it down in the water. But, uh, yeah, so I guess chickens do float after all. I would have never known that but all right well i'm just gonna keep doing this now